<laughs> ah, I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm not prepared. Uh, due to a hilarious cooked chicken-based incident, I've either got salmonella or perhaps it's just food poisoning. Oh, and by the way, the office I spent the last two weeks building has a leak in the ceiling. I didn't build the ceiling, so that's not on me. <laughs> that's not my fault. <laughs> oh my god. Why won't you people leave me alone? What do you mean it's the entire point of the playthrough? Fine. Fine. Here in RimWorld, we are suffering from success. If you wonder where two of our people have gone, they're off on another quest to get us more honor. Because that's what we... We are dripping with honor. Oozing with honor. With all that honor, we can embrace Pateria's throbbing Altex rod. Who am I embracing it with? It's probably better. Oh, and still broken. I, I can't fix her. There's technically nothing wrong with her. Because if I open up the error logs, there's no error logs. There's nothing technically wrong with her. She's just she's just living her own life now. So I've checked the actual error logs. Please don't talk to me about room while debugging. I've forgotten more about that than you will ever know. Can you hear that? Is that coming through on the microphone? There's an ice cream man outside, and I genuinely thought I was being haunted by a ghost. Unlike anyone else in this game, you're imagining things. <laughs> wow, that was scary. I thought Stephen King had... Oh! Undead hordes have found a goblin city! You, uh, you got the right idea, I suppose. Be a pass. Terrible bestowing ceremony. Will you stop doing that? Do you know the chance of actually getting a terrible bestowing ceremony in this room? Zero. Zero. Rounded to the nearest zero, of course. All braziers must be lit. What the hell are you talking about? Those braziers aren't lit. Oh, Lilo's braziers aren't lit. Are we out of uh, power again? Why? Why is this such a difficult game where I have to think about more than one thing? Okay, okay. You ready for my plan today? This is going to blow your mind. I'm going to make some weapons for my people that aren't whatever I found on the floor. <laughs> I went for theming over, um, you know, like actual combat damage. And I, I feel like, actually, to be fair, we're not doing that bad. We just need to make, like, better guns. Actually, to be fair, the guns we've got are pretty much the best it can be. All right, I'll take back everything I've said. We're fine. I've accidentally done the best thing possible for this faction. Though I will admit, those crossbows, though powerful, did almost kill Mabra yesterday. And did kill Dogman. Sweet, sweet, precious Dogman. Sweet, precious dog, man. I'm sorry. It's about the point where I'd say I'm going to get Anne to regrow Mabre's limbs. Um, but Anne, I can't draft up or control in any way. She is her own free agent now and technically isn't breaking the game doing it. So you know what? Maybe it's because she's Archduchess. Maybe that's it. Maybe maybe she's just like in her own world. She can't be controlled by anyone. You know what? Live your life, King. I'm not touching that. Remember I stopped an entire raid single-handedly yesterday. Well, I mean, <laughs> literally single-handedly, given that she had an arm ripped off and is also missing... Well, a hand. Oh, z zero handedly. I'm not here to slap bionics onto her. That's terribly, terribly, frightfully, boringly dull. So I'm going to make sure she gets the proper treatment she deserves. I can't like regrow limbs in here. Ooh, I can just regrow normal limbs. Uh, arm. Arm. Adaptive arm. A plain, normal, organic arm. I just don't understand why suddenly our power grid stopped working. And it was coincidentally the time Anne got into a death rest chamber, which is um, a little ridiculous, I might admit, and drained the entire power grid, and then she broke i feel like it still thinks she's in death rest but it's clearly not draining any power so i don't understand it was just a, a whole heap of coincidence look now that anne's been reduced to she'll help out if she feels like it's status we need to buff these people up this ragtag band of bitches because we just simply are gonna get steamrolled now i can't use all of anne's fancy abilities which i was very frequent at doing before <laughs> wait the baby's called deadlift that's the best thing I've ever heard. Oh my god, you've named a P. Pharaoh child deadlift. To be fair, though, 10.25 melee at the age of seven. I get it. I see. And maybe we've got that new colonist all along. But right now, it's like, here's the colony at 100% power. Here's the colony at 99% power. Gold, please. Oh, we, well, look at this stack of gold that we've got. It's not quite as much as I gave them a couple of episodes back. But the next time they turn up, Anne's definitely getting a new rank without a shadow of a doubt. And we've got two mining camps. Both focusing on gold currently, because I'm just buying all the everything else we need from, from trade caravans and everything else. <laughs> We're the good guys. We're the good guys, but sometimes good guys need enormous uh, anti-grain weaponry to keep themselves safe. Well, I said today we were going to be building a lot of weaponry, so that just seems to be a very perfect coincidence. And that's the other thing. Basroto, Tungi, look, they're my precious little 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 beans. Uh, however, they're wearing just heavy fur outfits. Not very suitable for fighting mechanoids until go to one of these workbenches somewhere somehow and we make 
Plasteel Weave or Uranium Weave, and we make them some better gear. I presume Plasteel's probably a better sharp. Yeah, 125%. Uranium's better at blunt and heat. Honestly, Uranium probably has some better benefits because heat is kind of a big deal for us, if you haven't noticed that. Uh, I think, you know what? Let's just slap down some... Oh. Well, I'm my own worst enemy a lot of the time, I will admit. Ben's bedroom isn't good enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. One of your people have a... What? Wait, undignified bedroom. One of your people has a royal tile and needs an end table, a drape, six plant pots, and a royal rug. My brother in Christ. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? What the hell are all these around the edge, huh? Unowned. Ah. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, something, something weird, weird has happened with Anne. Okay, we just gotta... Oh! No, we, could, we can still have bestower ceremonies with her. Because she can, or we can, we can just initiate it with someone else. I don't think this is particularly game breaking. She's just a free agent, and actually, I kind of like that. She's so powerful, I can't control her. In fact, none of these people are listening to me. Hey, we're hauling gold. You've already got gold in there, right? Oh, we're missing neutroamine. Oh, it's luckily for us, a whole fleet of trade ships has turned up. I love random storytellers. Ooh, four hundred and twenty-four. My God, you hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Not like this. And you try me more of it. Uh, here, you know what I want? You know what I really want, though? Freezing. Cold immunity. Oh, for a Volker's faction, that'd be cool. Man, I like that a lot. Frosty. Dominant genome. Undergrounder. Sanguine head. I can't metabolism. You don't metabolism very fast on a furry tail. No. No. A man Bray has to be normal. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm not saying that furries aren't normal. Whoa, 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 whoa! I understand my audience. I'm. I'm fine with the furry community. What I'm saying is, Mabre needs to look like a a standard human being configuration. Well done. You've saved it. Very diplomatic. Oh, good relations with the furries I have. <laughs> oh, hello, welcome. I didn't check your stats because obviously I'm just like big emancipating. Uh, hello, how are you doing? Big emancipating. Also, great character name. Melee eleven. Oh, medical ten. Oh, I need miners. Can you just at least pretend you're good at mining? Oh, you are a Dracul? Half vampire. Are they so bad? Should I just emancipate them? Go free. Go free. Enjoy your life. Hello. Honestly, just go free. Go free. I don't need melee characters. Toomgi is dame. Toomgi, please. Please, Toomgi. The power grid can't take it. Werewolf Circus. Thank you for the silver. Toomgi, the power grid can't take it. Holy Neutramins Cryonic Generator. Thank you. My god. Any time now. Yeah, on your own pace. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, Team Geek. If you could also build the other one. How are we looking? We finally, finally making a little bit of power. Thank God. Like 2,000 hours, by the way. The, the other 5,000 hours are all just me staring at the workshop mods and wondering what I'm doing with my life. 40 minutes, by the way, if we're going for that, if we're going for that metric. And for, you people are ruining my fashion. I can sort it out. This is disgusting. Red with gray with purple. From B positive. Gold. Oh, how much have we got? Because I think they didn't even haul in the last lot we've got. We just got it left on our doorstep. Which, to be fair, seems very esoteric empire. Uh, 4,640. How much did we give them last time? I feel like it was more than that. And then he immediately changes his beret to one hand's just crafted. Basroto, I'm going to shit yourself. Stop right there, criminal scum. This is the fashion police. Oh, I'm going to have to go put a fucking mod in so they dye their damn clothes. It's driving me insane. Fucking werewolf surface out there on the bloody planet. We're the circus. Look at us, you clown. Oh, stinky. We've got more bloody mechanoids to deal with. Obviously, I'm going to accept this. Who needs a rank? Uh, slippery Zen. Oh, I can't believe I've left Slippery for so long. Psychically deaf. The silent might not be useful. Uh, that's fine. I can deal with it. That's the easiest group of mechanoids I've seen in my whole life. And in fact, that probably gives me time to craft a weapon or two. So I was having a look. So I was like, how do my hammers uh, line up with the rest of the stuff we've crafted? The answer is just awful. Just like unthinkably bad. So for the P-Knights, I think steel greatswords are a bit more on brand. Now I'm going to do that rather than the Crypto Axe and the Persona Vampire. Although Persona Vampire swords for both of them. I was going to give that to Mona, right? But she's got her own very fancy hammer. And I'd rather not take that away from her. A vampire swords for the P-Knights. Ooh. Two Persona Vampire Great Swords. I mean, because they're also Acolytes now. That makes sense. But out of Plasteel. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Bear in mind, that was like way up at the top of the list. 29.21 DPS. And that's just made of steel. And Plasteel gives the multiplier. The question is, does Anna have 13 artistic? She do. She's just watching TV with her pet deer. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you would like to do what now? 
Just provided seven soldiers to carry out the attack. You know what? Let me cook. I'll come back to you. Just need a tremendous amount of plasteel. Tomboy, my friend, it's that time of day again where I spend the next four hours caravanning you around every site on the face of the planet. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, the other flower finally hatched. What a bizarre thing to say. Irusala, hello. Come meet your brother. <laughs> Forever. Oh, good God. She might actually be the rank of high style up by the time we finish this sword. My lord. I mean, I understand it's probably for balancing, right? Hey, the mechanoids have woken up. Um, Mabre, where are you? Oh, you're pretty close. You're pretty much the closest person there. Go deal with that for me. I don't have to rush to deal with the mechanoids or anything. It's not like the auto mortars can hit anything valuable. I think there's nothing of any want or value out here. That's fine. <laughs> oh, team. Oh, squad. I think we're ready. Mona, bring down that wall. We got mechanoids to kill. Ah! Well, they were quite on it, weren't they? To the river, squad. They can't get us if we're ankle deep in water. Oh, my plan failed. Wow, that did a lot of damage instantly. Holy shit. Hey, like, be careful, though. Hey, be careful. Watch this. That's right, combat command. You never thought you never thought you would see the day. Do they have a high shield? No? Oh, well, I could have made this a lot simpler, couldn't I? Ah. Uh, turns out they may actually have a high shield. <laughs> Get him, squad! Chaos reigns! Kill them all! Tomboy, come on now! Tomboy, how long does it take? Yes! Enormous Tomboy, die! Mabre, you need to be in there first. Come on, you're the strongest one here. <laughs> oh, this is good. Why are they not... Like, stop standing still, though. The hell part of search and destroy? What are you doing? Like, go, then. You're like, kill, like, fight, search, and destroy? Well, I think that went well. Not too bad at all. Nobody got horribly murdered this time. Oh, that's an interesting title to hand me. Um, not touching that one. Honor plus 12 for looking after a yeoman with four court allies. We could do a little chompy chompy. Actually, we got a fresh one and this one's much better. Six prisoners. That's all. We, we don't even have to feed them anymore with all of these, all of these drains. So I'm all right with that. Yeah, 12 honor. Give it to Zen. And then every single person in the colony has... A title. Sorry, where are my other people? Uh, for eight days. Oh, we get them back soon. Thank God. But music. What? How did we miss three mechanoids? What happened? These things just happen, don't they? My bad. No, no, no. They're friendly mechanoids. They're just friendly little guys. Dame Petit Pois. Ooh, and honorable again. Thank you. We've got so many. Look, let's just blitz through all these fast. Lilu suddenly remembered she's far more attractive. <laughs> oh, Kef, that was one of the slaves that we bought yesterday that we're that we're gonna we're gonna release. I do need some good miners, so I guess I'll pick the stoner trait. <laughs> Cough! I've just spent twenty minutes doing these. Jesus Christ! What? The shuttle turned up to do the ceremony. God is ready to grab here. Pass here. They are. They they didn't bring someone with them. Required boss Leop? They haven't sent them. What? <laughs> Who the fuck is boss Leop? He's not even on the list. What the fuck is this, Morang? Look at this. For 15 days, we look after prisoners, and there will be two raids of strength two times of roughly this size, including 26 hell guards. I don't know what a hell guard is. I'm pretty sure we have one in a drain casket. I'm going to take that, though. Um, who needs a rank? Everybody gets a rank. Zen? Congratulations. Well, the good news is one of the swords is finished, but I know this is going to cause an argument, isn't it? Uh, battery, the liquor of injustice. Now everyone's going to be arguing, that's not how that's pronounced. It's pronounced this way and this way and this way and this way. How about you pronounce these nuts are uh, painless and kill happy? Oh, painless isn't necessarily good because they will probably just fight until they die. This weapon's persona loves to kill. Oh, I see why you've named it that. Okay, uh, Pierpos, you also love to kill. Ah, uh, you're still, oh, you're still attached to uh, the bloody Arcotech heavy sword. Yeah, I'm just going to chuck those in the uh, in the furnace. They're very dangerous weapons. I am also fundamentally aware that giving them better weapons aren't going to make up for the fact that, like, Pierpos is tiny and takes a lot of damage. Mabre is missing, well, effectively both arms at this point. Oh, God, everybody's so battered and bruised, but I really just hate the fucking bionics all the time. Everybody just looks the same and acts the same and sounds the same and does the same stuff. I hate it. And yet, I really don't have a choice, do I? Oh, God. 
<laughs> oh, God. Okay. Maybe they need a little more help than I realized here. So my best fighters have, like, no limbs left. Oh, shit. Completely forgot that we kidnapped the leader of uh, a faction, turned them into a sanguifage, and then enthralled them, and then uh, just left them in the prison. So I'm going to let you go now. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm gonna let you go. Live your best life. In fact, let's let all of them go from the Outlander Union, because I'd like to be allied to them again. And now that they are enthralled and a sanguifage, they have a very good reason to be on our side. Um, so you can go. You can go. My God, how many of them did I kidnap? You can go. I'm sorry, we're the good guys. A, a change of opinion, not kidnap. That's the wrong word. Fuck me. I misread that. <laughs> I thought that cat was called Andrew Hitler. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. First, before we, you know, start building up the, uh, before we start building up the goodwill. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I can't even turn you into a statue anyway because I can't draft up Anne. Oh. Why are all my plans falling apart? I think if I do this, this is everybody getting a title. Uh, uh, sail needs a weapon. Can anybody lend sail a weapon? Pierpos. Oh, Pierpos has that spare warhammer. Hey, there you go. All right, sail, grab this one. I want you to get the rank, so we're going to send you in. <laughs> we're going to do what I did last time and just send in the cataphracts and then gain nothing from it. Kill them. Kill them now. Yes. Yes. Well done, sail. I think that, I think you've impressed them. I think you've impressed them. Good work. Okay, quest complete. And then, sail, sail, sail. Boom. Freehold a title gained. Oh, this is good. So, is anybody missing a title at this point? I think just Zen? Oh, Zen and Allo. Shit, how have I missed Allo in all this time? This is where Anne could, like, bestow them a title if she wasn't... Anne? <laughs> I thought she'd gone invisible then for a second. What, what, what do we do about this? What do we do about the fact that there's just a shuttle here that doesn't do anything for... Is that... Are you just living there now? We've got the Empire just camping out of our base. Okay. You know what? Live your life. What the hell happened to Anne and Bowman? Oh, I suppose I've just answered my own question there, eh? Whoa! Bowman, you almost killed Anne, you idiot! Oh my god, but Anne gave it as good as she got. She didn't quite kill Bowman, but did a lot more damage overall. Hey, how's those uh, limbs going that I wanted to grow, huh? Adaptive arm will be ready in 25 days. Fuck it, we're going with bionics. <sighs> I tried to be different, and the game has decided otherwise. Think Mabry would hate it? I hate it! But I'm going to give her the Ultra Tech arm because she's so cool. <laughs> I'm not going to get rid of the wooden hand because she turned up with that wooden hand. So that's like, that's hers. That's part of her character now. Stupid game. I hate you. I hate you, stupid game. I hate you, stupid game. It's character development. It's character development that you lose an arm and then you have to like get some, get some bionic for it. But everybody looks the same. I am here to buy all your plasteel. Oh, and uranium. I need uranium for more for more swords, and then I also will buy all of your gold so that I can give it back to you later on. <laughs> it's genius. Sorry, what sort of clown shit is going on here? You failed catastrophically while installing an arm. Firstly, what are you talking about? 105% success rate. Are you missing an arm? There's nothing wrong with you. How did you fuck that up so much that you killed Slippery? She got so much glitter set, Madison, we might as well just swap over to that. So you know what? That's kind of my bad. I've been stockpiling it for ages, but they keep wasting it on stupid shit like bruises. Ah! Was it you? I was going to say, if it, it was if it was a guest, I'd have executed you. Hey, don't do that. What on earth is this? And why have I never seen it before? The Lord of Grey Sound. We've uncovered the location of a werewolf lord. Oh. Okay. I'll take a silent neuroformer. This is where I would just send Anne to go and crush its heart, but um, Anne is retired. She's just living her best life at this point. Ooh, all I wanted to do was make sure that today everybody was powerful and mighty. Oh, psychic fog. Oh, well, I haven't really got a choice. I'm not making another one. They take fucking ages. There we go. <laughs> oh, petty bois. I like good damage, though. How are we looking? DPS. Uh, it's like, not bad. It's fine. Whoa. Oh, my God, the quality difference. Shit. Maybe I should recraft that. You know what? Live your life. Oh, no, I've only got 18.42 DPS. It's only like three times a thrombo. How will I live? Hey, here's a new problem uh, that, that's a side effect of all of this. All of this royal crap. <laughs> um, nobody's willing to... Well, Slippery's down because death resting. Nobody's willing to do a lot of the jobs, like cooking and um, mining. We haven't got anybody capable of mining anymore. We've got some real holes popping up in our to-do list. In fact, Anne's the only person that could legitimately do it. Because, of course, they hate doing mining. It's only the people with a passion for mining that are happy doing mining. 
up and can't do mining. That feels so strange. But anyway, I've got my lovely Imperial guest doing it right now. The armor's all sorted. Upgrades are done for everybody. Best road to him. Toomgi, I have, I have charge rifles now rather than those bloody lances. I'm still not a big fan of the crossbows. They do a lot of damage, but normally it's to my own people. And more importantly, everybody has their limbs back, or at least most of their limbs back. I don't like the fact we've had to use bionics. But it's part of the course, really. I haven't really got a choice. And now Mabry should be stronger than ever. Melee DPS, 25.26. That's the good shit right there, Mabry. Who could have guessed that giving someone an arm might make them better at combat? <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing a lot of boring stuff here today, building royal dresses, upgrading all the bedrooms so they are royal bedrooms instead, which is taking fucking hours absolutely forever. But you know, there is just, oh, for God's sake, there is just one person who needs, who needs an upgrade more than anybody else. Are they actually hitting each other with their warhammers? I think they are. Please don't kill one another, and please don't break any more armor. There's one person on this entire list who has been left by the wayside because of pure luck, or in this case, pure unluck. And that is, of course, Pierpos. Poor sweet Pierpos, who one day woke up and realized he was a dwarf. And that does not make a good night. <laughs> like right now, where he's having a pleasant good night, wrapped up in his bed sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? It's 20 minutes before the video's got to come out. Yeah, it's going to be like, okay, I'm not well. Buy chicken from anyone you haven't cooked yourself. It just seems it seems just like not worth the hassle. I'm going to be honest with you. Oscar, hello. No, you don't have to attend him. Don't worry about that. Oh, he's still knocked out from when Anne sent him before. <laughs> no, don't get up. Don't get up. My friend, you are about to contribute to science in ways you never thought you could imagine. Titan frame. Oh, hang on. With catastrophic cell instability, when I install it in them, when I install it in them, oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of the other one that randomizes their genes. This one just gives them cancer. <laughs> that's what's up. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, I don't know if that's any better, but okay. Well, oh, we're going to call this, um, we're going to call this test gene uh test gene version one i think that's good i don't i don't think i even need to clarify it's obvious i wasn't laughing at the cancer i was laughing at the fact that i was about to say this gene is going to be better because it doesn't give him cell instability but then i saw that it also gave him like a potentially terminal disease that's why it was funny because i was going to say that it was i was, do, I was doing a nice thing for him when in fact it was horrif horrific very horrible indeed stop ignoring me and come on what are they doing what if I tell them to do any jobs now? They just straight up ignore me unless I really force it. Are these shit bags? You get jewel encrusted crowns and you think you're better than everyone else. Okay. Perfect. That was an archaic cap. Where's Oscar gone? Uh, Oscar? Os Os Oscar? What? How has this happened? What the fuck? Where did he go? What? Oscar. Did he just walk away? What are you doing? Hey, put him down. Look, 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 look. I know she was trying to help. Okay, I know she was trying to help. I've thrown down a sleeping spot. That will make him to hopefully stay here. Then we've also got the medical bed. Then we install the Xenogerman U. And then we see what horrible mess we make. Oh, there's Xenogenes. No. You're going to make him not a cat boy. Nobody wants to see that. Hold on. Before we do that then, cancel, cancel, cancel that operation. Hold on a second. I'm not, I'm not happy about that. There we are. And then we go use gene integrator on Oscar. He's eating his beans. Sorry to interrupt your bean eating. And perfect. Oh, perfect. Well, good enough. Can't complain. What's the matter, Oscar? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> but there are no ghosts in this colony. We all know that. And we say order implantation into Meowska. After implantation, Oscar will have a metabolism value of minus four and a food consumption multiplier of 200%. How terrible. Take to operate and then... Uh, oh, hello? Werewolf money. Hello, get to... Uh, what do you mean? Herbal medicine or worse. That's fair enough. You probably don't want to be doing, like, horrific gene therapy with herbal medicine. It does seem a little bit counterintuitive. And done. Okay. And then, in theory, we slap Oscar in the gene extractor. And then we get the one gene, but not the other. Because I don't really want those two combined. And then... Mm. 
Oh, that's just awakened something in somebody, I'm sure. Me. Me, in fact. I know, I, I, I'm fundamentally aware, right, that by giving him all these germline genes, then also the Titan frame, what I've done is I've made my life infinitely harder, because then instead of having like a one in two chance of being able to extract the stuff, I've given him like a one in, what, what is that, like seven per row? One in like 20 something chance of, tw 30 chance of sorting this out. It was a mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. I, I meant to do it, but I understand that it's going to probably take us a long time, and I'm going to complain about how long it takes. Insert. Uh, oh, is that a germination coma? How long for, though? Is that a germination coma for... Oh, only a few days. Genes are regrown for a week, for God's sake. Might just be easier to go grab someone else at this point. Turn him into a massive cat boy, so I'm happy with that. What's going on in here? We got a rodent meeting. Oh, Bambi. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> ah, can they not go through the... Oh, they can go through the door. Why are there four deer? It's like a national park. I've got to find somebody without... Uh, you'll do. You'll do. And then we got a one in four chance. Here. Go get stench. Oh, no, well, somebody somebody get stench. Uh, capture stench. Carry stench. Let's just go take them over manually. There we are. It was not a waste of an Arco capsule. Don't you say it. Oh, what's Yoten metabolism do again? Uh, dream requisites require Yoten frame or... Ah, oh, hold on then. So if we take... Titan frame and Jotun metabolism. Did you hear about the time that Pierpost tried to commit ghost crimes? Police say there's a small, medium, at large. Okay, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> what, what am I going to call this? We're going to call this uh, Test Gene 2. Careful, there's a lot of menus here. T test Gene 2, uh, legitimately though, this time. This is like Test Gene 2 in brackets, but really, I mean it. How the fuck do you keep moving my prison? Oh, he's there. Jesus, I thought they carried him off again for a second. Stay there. Don't move. Volker, if I have to tell you again, I'm... Do what do you mean hauling slate blocks? Shit, how many fucking times do I have to tell you? God, I can feel my blood pressure rising just trying to get any of these characters to do anything. Like, Anne, do anything at all. No, no, I don't think I will. Uh, Volker, hey, uh, come and craft me. You know, do your damn job as the leader of the science faction. Come and craft me some gene packs. Nah, I'm too busy hauling slate bricks. God damn, thank you. I mean, if it's not too much effort people. They've taken years off my life. Stench, into the coma with you. Is there any danger to taking the prisoners and turning them into enormous people? Um, yes. Yes, I think there probably is, but we'll cross that hurdle when we get there. And boom. <laughs> what? Oh, because they were part of the Outlander Union. But they were a hussar. Oh, whatever. I suppose hostiles can join the Outlander. Harm harmful surgery on member. When you ask them if they think it's a harmful surgery, maybe they weren't happy being an enormous frightening fella, and now they are happy being uh, an enormous frightening demon instead. It's a bit of a side grade, I will admit. What the hell do you mean I need to ask permission before I... Oh, Satsuki McCormick is really... Oh, no. Not Satsuki McCormick. Oh, my God. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Who the fucking hell is Satsuki McCormick? What, somebody in, like, a drain casket? Oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, I see why they're in there. Because Slippery, our chef, has been out of the camp for so long we ran out of meals. So they sniffed out the beans that I'm putting into the nutrient paste grinder. Oh. This is nice, though. Nature is truly in balance right now, isn't it? Hey, Poss, one day you will go to the ball, my friend. One day, I am going to make you enormous and powerful. People aren't going to laugh at you anymore. Any little Pierpos, that's what they call you behind your back. Tiny little baby weakling Pierpos. I've seen everybody. I know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to have to tell you this news. But look at that, though. That looks amazing. That looks so good. Uh, I haven't really got a way to resurrect Sparky. I'm not going to lie to you. Not until Pharaoh Bo Woman comes off of cooldown, which is going to be another 23 days, because it's like once every two years. So we could be waiting a while on that. But I'm happy with it. I think, I think today's gone pretty well. My, my goal was always just like to get them a bit more fighting fit. And again, ignoring the fact that Anne is totally out of the picture now, we've done a pretty good job. Like, those swords were a lot of effort. I was getting a lot of boring effort, getting resources and skulls and watching Anne level up. Not really much I can leave in the video, but it's a pretty big accomplishment. Everybody getting the cataphract gear back, getting their limbs glued back on. I'm happy with it. About 400,000 ceremonies, and now even more. I can't wait for everybody to reach the rank of Praetor and then refuse to do any work. What are the throne room? Was it by a... What was that? Rock rubble? Was it hit by a meteor? Well, no, because the throne's still assigned. I have no idea. And honestly, I don't think it really matters. The other ceremony was for a freaking guest. Oh, for Christ's sake. What was that? Why is stuff blowing up all the time in this place? I feel like I'm going mad. And boom. Six hours of Rim Rim for 
a whole bunch of random titles, but you know what we really did today. I've been keeping an eye on it slowly throughout the episode, just to kind of glance over every now and again. The gold. The gold, which I've kept open specifically so that we can keep track of it and watch it slowly trickle up. 12,516. We are going to get another 2,084 gold in two days, seven hours. There are 18 people there with a cumulative mining skill of 120, and then the other one with a cumulative mining skill of 85, uh, sorry, 83, we've got 1,390 gold coming in another 19 hours. When that caravan turns up next, when that tribute collector turns up next, I am going to make sure Anne jumps all the way up to the highest of Stellark. We're nowhere near. Where is she? Archduchess. She's here. And we need to get to here. So we've only got another thousand to go, really. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> and listen here, you big men, you bitches. Tomorrow, I'm unleashing the gene the gene stuff. I'm, I'm going to use the gene stuff in a, in a sensible way. I'm not just going to go like, oh, let's build a big super soldier gang. So fucking so sick of that. Anything that's thematically appropriate, I'm happy to do. What the hell is going on here? We are effectively just sitting here waiting for that countdown to victory. So I need a fun side project while we tick that off, and I think the jeans are a good way to go about that. I think there's probably not many more episodes left at this point, Um, because again, we are just basically just kind of sitting here waiting for stuff to happen, which isn't the most fun to play, I won't lie. Uh, but, but... There's going to be some fun. I'm going to make some fun projects for us. It might not be the most thematically appropriate, but at this point, I think it's very much within striking distance that I can get up, get an up to high Stellux, so I'd feel weird not doing it. But I think, I think let's wait and see. Thank you, of course, all of you for joining me. Hope you are able to tolerate the menus that will be coming very soon. Thank you to Spacemen, Joe, Chase, Omega, R997123, Mr. Moma, Blafocus666, Zafipoo, DaffodNZ, Jackson, Cyric313, Voidrunner, Time Waster, A Box, Pondlord, Frozen Solid, Nyan Lathotep, Anthony Frackenthal, Buen Gun, I don't know, I just vibe, Shork, Comrade, Dragon M R H, Scott Layton, Abby, Ornat, Neozilla, and Dexter Lowe as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Crusader King's probably also coming to an end very soon, actually. We're, we're kind of getting very, very close to the goal I set out in that one. So we'll, we'll be turning over a new leaf. I'm, hopefully, I'm going to try and time it for when my office is done. So everything kind of comes together at the same time, and it'll be wonderful, glorious. Finally, I can sleep at night. Thank you as well to Reeftopia, Skunkalope, Rebecca Verrill, Pinky Arman, Ravenasago, Evan Stockdale, Alcatraz, Brian Elliott, Callum James 3, Derpykins, Craze Monkey 231, Roman Von Klein, Dan Does a Thing, Oliver, Blemished Halo, and everybody else as well. I'm going to sleep. Goodbye. Well, I've got to edit the video first. Then maybe I'll go to sleep. Goodbye.